Hey, what's up everybody? I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. Today's video is going to be a quick explanation of how to do a remote podcast recording and recording you and your guest on separate tracks. Before we get started, you should know there's many ways to do this. This just happens to be the way that I'm doing it right now. Things you're going to need to make this happen. You first, you need a computer. I use an iMac. You're going to need a digital audio workstation, something like what I use is Adobe Audition, but you know it could be Logic or Pro Tools, Ableton Live, anything of that sort. You cannot use GarageBand for this, unfortunately. GarageBand does not allow you to record two tracks simultaneously. You're also gonna need a microphone. I happen to use this uh, AKG microphone, condenser microphone, but it can be a dynamic mic or it can be a condenser, it doesn't really matter. You need a remote client such as Zoom or Skype or something like that, something that you're communicating with your guest through the internet on your computer. You're gonna need an audio interface. I use the Behringer Euphoria UMC 404 HD. You're also gonna need some headphones. I use the Bayer Dynamics DT770 Pro 80 ohms. You're gonna need um, a headphone splitter. You're gonna need a stereo quarter inch cable. And you're also gonna need a way to convert that stereo quarter inch cable into a mono. All right, those are what you're gonna need. So let's get into, let's start off with how to set up your hardware. All right, let's set up your hardware. So this is my audio interface. Yours will probably look something similar. You have your inputs, you have your volume adjustments for each input, and you have your headphone mixes and monitor mixes over here. So in your headphone jack, you wanna take the splitter and put that into the headphone jack. You want to then plug in your headphone jack into one side of the splitter. And then you take the quarter inch stereo cable I mentioned and plug it into the other side of the splitter. And then you take your the other end of your stereo input and take the mono splitter. I happen to be using this splitter that takes the stereo signal and divides it into the ring and sleeve of the stereo jack, creating the mono input. I don't know the science behind why this works. When I just plug in this directly into the channel that I want to record off of, it doesn't give me as good of a signal as if I split it or create it, turn it into a mono. Um, so this is what I'm doing. So I happen to be using the tip portion of the stereo to tip and sleeve splitter. And that creates a loop so that what I'm hearing off of my computer then goes out and back into the computer. And I'll show you how that works in the software in a second. And then of course I already have my microphone set up. I've happened to be using, I use channel four for my guest vocals, what's coming off of the computer. And then I use channel one for my, my vocals. The important thing to remember about this configuration on your audio interface, you should have something that allows a mix between what you hear from the computer and what you hear going into your audio interface. You want that to be turned all the way off so you do not hear anything that's going into your audio interface. You only want to hear what's coming out of your computer. You only want to hear what's coming out of your computer. So I turn mine all the way over to what's coming out of my computer. All right, now that your hardware is set up, let's talk about how to set up your software. So like I said, I use Adobe Audition. So I'm going to open up Adobe Audition. First thing we want to do is go to the tracks we wanna use, two tracks, one for me and one for my guest, and set those up so they're corresponding to the correct inputs on your audio device. And for me, I have it on channel one. For my guest, I have it on channel four. It's just the way I do it. You can use any open slot there is available. Now your recording software is set up, but now we have to set up, make sure the you know client software is set up correctly. And I'm gonna use Skype for this example. So I'm gonna open up Skype. I'm going to open up the preferences. I'm going to go to audio video and then as you can see already the audio microphone is already capturing my signal. You just want to make sure that that's in the right setting which is my audio interface the UMC 404 HD. You can have it set for your microphone on your computer as well. We don't want that. And then the speakers so what's coming out so like hearing your guests Basically the speaker is your guest. So you wanna make sure that you can hear 
that correctly. So you also want to send that through your audio interface because that's why we set up that headphone splitter because it's coming out of your headphones. You're wearing your headphones. You're listening to your audio from your computer, from your guests, through your headphones, but then also splitting that off and sending it back into the computer is what we're doing. That's why we have the splitter. So let's test that audio. Turn it on. We'll go back to our audio soft recording software, Adobe Audition, like I said. And then we want to arm the tracks. So now you can see that there's audio input going into the tracks. The guest track, track two, when I record, when I hit arm, it's just capturing that bell sound. So let's actually record something and see how it worked. This is a test recording to see how we capture audio from our guest and ourselves on separate tracks. We stop that. Let's stop the input from Skype now. Stop the test. All right, now we can see if it actually worked. Let's unarm these tracks. So now our audio is recorded. The green one here is me. The purple one is our guest. So we'll play them together again. This is a test recording to see how we capture audio from our guests and ourselves on separate tracks. All right, let's try that again. This time we'll mute my track. See, all you hear is the um, sound from our guest. So now you can manipulate your audio independently if you need to adjust volumes to make it sound better or whatnot, or do some audio effect work like EQing or noise reduction, things like that. So that's how you do it. That's how you record audio on two separate tracks when you're recording a podcast. And um, yeah, hopefully it's helpful. If you have any questions for me, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer anything you have. And until next time, be sure to subscribe to the channel, thumb it up, be loving, kind, and patient. Peace.